What's up, y'all? It's a beautiful day here in Hidden Valley, and uh, welcome back to another episode of Ranch Simulator. Bro, my goodness, I'm loving this game. You guys are absolutely cracking me up. I was looking at some of the comments in the last episode. Tell me why this actually looks like a... a you know, newsline that is actually fairly plausible. But um, actually, I, I learned something from you guys yesterday. Mother chickens are attentive to their eggs. So if you pick up a fertilized one, the chicken may start to bite you. I had no clue that was actually a thing. And it's a thing in real life, too. There's actually a, a tool at the general store we can buy that helps us figure out if it's a fertilized or unfertilized egg. Unfertilized, we take it out, put it in the basket, go sell it. Fertilized, we leave it, let it hatch into a chick, let it grow into a chicken, and then I'm not sure if you get more money for selling a live chicken to the general store or if you get more money for selling a like harvested dead one. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. But uh, Chels was just mad that I took her babies and uh, she, she, was, she was not down for that. Got our second set of chickens here. No eggs in there yet. We do have a, a decent number of eggs in here. Where's our... Uh Where's our gator? I guess we'll get our, our basket out here. We don't have a ton of time. It's already 1 p.m. We are going to be checking out what we can do to hunt in this game. Now, you guys know we've taken this road to the general store quite a bit, and we often see deer, so I'm, I'm thinking we're going to start there. And then if we go down to the southeast part of the map, then I believe we can find bear and wolves and stuff like that. But I want to I wanna start, you know, a little bit more low-key. Let's just look for some deer. We'll see what we could do. We killed a doe a couple episodes back. And as it turns out, you, you actually, you can harvest the doe in this game. It's it's not against the rules. It's not, okay. Well, this, this is great. We're off to a great start here. Okay, we, we are the Hulk, I guess. Sounds, sounds good to me. Your boy's been lifting a bit here. But, um, yeah, the, the, the dough, you just, you need to switch back to your hands to be able to harvest. We didn't do that. We still had the gun in our hand when we tried to, uh, to walk up to it, so we'll we'll see what happens here. Just kind of keep an eye out. I mean, every time we've come through here, they've essentially ran up to our vehicle. Like we we've almost run over them a couple of times. So I'm just kind of trying to trying to play it chill here. I guess we can go out this way. We might potentially see some bear or wolves. I would imagine the sound of the engine is going to scare them off. So I don't want to go too crazy, but. I also don't want to be stuck out here on foot when we come across a grizzly bear, so... What is that? That's a rock. Thought I saw something there. It's nothing. Just just a moss-covered rock. This things look kind of bear-like. Oh, I see one. All right, we're just... We're, we're going to go for the Mac Daddy right off the bat. Here we go. We got a six-shooter against a grizzly bear. What do you guys think? Should we... Should we third-person it here? Kind of like this, or should we go into first-person? I kind of feel like I trust my third person name more. Try to get that headshot. Oh. Whoo! Looks like we missed one there. So what is it? Is it four shots to be able to take him down? I think two or three of them were headshots. So now if we switch back to our hands, let's make sure there's nothing else around here that's going to try to end up taking us out. We can skin it and we're going to be able to get this meat. Let me go back and get our gator. So if we pick this up, this stuff we're going to be able to sell at the store. And as we were talking about yesterday, I mean, eventually when we have a chicken coop with like 40 chickens in it, or we have, you know, multiple pigs and cows and stuff like that, we're actually going to be able to live off of our, our homestead. Ooh, that's a big fat piece right there. That's fantastic. But um, as of right now, we just, we don't really have enough. We're, we're hardly making any money when you consider all the feed that we have to buy and stuff like that. So... Just kind of trying to, to expedite the process a little bit, get a little bit more money so we can build our barn, buy more chickens, get better chicken coops, that sort of thing. Otherwise, it would take a, a very, very long time. So we, we've got a grizzly bear right off the bat. That was pretty impressive. I've heard kind of down in this area is is the, the key prime area that you want to be hunting in. Oop, 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 oop. Get out. Give me this gun. Here we go. Oh, quick scoped her. Let's go. So this this is a doe here. So the, the grizzly, I just I kind of want to keep an eye out here, dude. It is a little bit nerve wracking. I don't like, you know, claiming your kill is is a little bit more dangerous. The grizz. Oh, shit. There's another one over there. There's a grizzly over there. There's a grizzly. Hold on. Hold on. OK, 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 OK. What do we want to do? Let's make sure our gun's all the way reloaded. 
Bro, he could sneak up on us so fast. I'm gonna get this meat first. Get the meat. I'm nervous, dude. I feel like I'm gonna turn around, look up. He's gonna be right there in our face, just swatting us. We don't really have a ton of space in this vehicle to, to be able to carry much more. Like, I, I've... Shoot. I don't even know if, if killing this grizzly is gonna be worth it, because we aren't gonna be able to take all the meat. But here we go. All right. Let's risk it for the biscuit. We gotta be careful here with the trees. Or not. Just straight up take him out. I don't like being stuck in all these trees. This dude, if some if something rolled up on us right now, this would not be good. All right. Are we good? Just take a look around. Look for any big brown blobs that look angry and have like nine inch claws. I think we're okay. So let's go ahead and skin this. We're going to pick these up, put these in here and get the heck out of here as fast as we possibly can. It's already 6 p.m. I forget what time the the general store closes, but I think it's fairly soon, so we gotta kinda hurry this up a little bit. Are we gonna be able to get this last piece of meat? Looking around, don't see anything. Shoot. You can't stack it. I feel like it's it's not really worth taking our time here, Trev, but I'm I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to fix try to fit this. I think if we do this one sideways, and then do this one sideways, there it is. Let's go. Okay. Get in here and go. I have no idea if they're gonna be closed yet. What is it, about 7 o'clock? I think they might stay open till 8. It is going to start getting a little bit darker, so we've got to be careful about that. Let's finesse it through here. We're getting fairly close. All right, dude. I mean, we got a full fat stack of meat in the back here. You boys got some junk in the trunk, that's for sure. And uh, we should we should be able to make quite a bit of money from this. So we're going to pull up here. Hopefully, Are they open? They may not be open. We're going to be careful about our gas, too. Oh, they're open till 9, dude. They, they've got nice hours. Okay. So pull up to the back here. We're going to be able to pick these up. Going to have to do it one by one. Just throw that in the back. Come back, grab a piece, throw it in the back. Repeat. It's kind of a creepy night here, man. I don't like it. It's very dark outside. Raining. But we did all right. So how many pieces of meat is that? 5, 9, 10, 11? 11 pieces of meat. Let's go into our cell. 35 each. So we're going to make $385. I mean, that that's not a lot, but it's a starting point. We just got to kind of keep doing that over and over and over, and eventually we should have enough money to, you know, be able to buy what we want. I'm going to go ahead and buy some wheat. I mean, I, I know I know we're going we're gonna to need tons of wheat. Back home we go. My goodness. I am not a big fan of this. The other thing we're going to have to remember, you know, obviously, I mean, hunting, there's not a lot that we have to put into it, but we do have to buy ammo. We've got to remember we can't run out of money. We've got to buy ammo to be able to keep keep doing what we're doing here. Four shots per bear. They give us four meat. It's a pretty good return on investment. Bro, I can't see a thing. This is really, really creepy. I hope bears and wolves, I, I mean, we haven't seen one yet, so I can only assume that they don't, but I really hope they don't, they don't come up in our, our hood. At, uh, at nighttime, but uh, another thing that you guys all kindly mentioned to me in the last episode is that at night the chickens will sleep, so that's the best time to come in here and take their eggs, and they won't uh, they won't mess with you. They won't try to run out or anything like that because they're they're hanging out and they're sleeping. So we're gonna take the definitely unfertilized eggs from over here. We don't currently have a method to be able to tell what are fertilized and what are not, so I'm thinking on the other ends. We might just leave all these in here and hope that uh, eventually we get some, some new chicks. Is there any stuff that we have to clean out? Poo or anything? I don't really see anything. Should be uh, should be good to go. We've got our new wheat. So we're going to set these up around so we have plenty to refill it as we need it. Whew, that was a long day, baby, but uh, it's time to wake up and do it all again. Let's do it. So we've got uh, chickens are looking good. These guys are looking good too. Just want to make sure everybody's drinking and stuff. Looks like we're a little bit thirsty from the evening, but we, we should be all good to go. Looks like these guys might be able to use one thing of feed. Bring that up a bit, and uh, we're just going to get right back out there. So we have, uh, we've got 20 shots left, which is honestly not a lot. We should have bought some ammo at the general store before. Let's, we're going to have to go buy gas too is, is the issue. Let's get after it while the day is young, while the, the, you know, morning dew is still on the grass. We're gonna get out there and kick some ass. Here we go. I'm gonna look for some uh, some dough. 
Or, or, I mean, I'll take bucks too. I'd imagine bucks probably give you more, more meat. But we're gonna look for some deer along the way to the country store. We're gonna pick up some bullets. And then we're just gonna hunt all day long. I'm hoping to do at least two, uh, what do you want to call it? At least two runs of a full, a full bed of meat here. And that should, that should put us in a good spot. It's not gonna be perfect. But it should put us in a good spot. I didn't see any, any deer or anything like that. So here we go. 24 bullets for 40 bucks. I'm gonna go ahead and buy two of those. All right. So we should, we should be in good shape here. Gonna be able to, to pick these up. Headed southeast here. We're gonna see what we can find out in the woods. Haven't seen a wolf yet. We've conquered everything else. So we'll see if we can find one of them today. Would imagine they're gonna be, you know, maybe, maybe they're out more at night. A little bit more elusive, that sort of thing, but your boy is a master trapper huntsman, so it should be no problem for us. I will say, like, I was I was kind of looking into the, the meta of this game and how it works. It is a little bit unfortunate because hunting is by far and beyond the most effective way of making money, especially early game. So a lot of people are saying it gets fairly repetitive. Come at me, bro. Come at me, dog. What you want? What you want? Don't miss any shots, Trev. Ooh, look at that. Got him. Yeah, put your head down. Think about what you just tried to do. You just tried to come up and maul me. I ain't a fan of that. Apparently, it's, it, 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 you know, especially early on, unless you're just super slow playing it and, and, you know, relying on eggs, which takes even longer, it's pretty much just go out, hunt, sell it, hunt, sell it, hunt, sell it, hunt, sell it, and that's how you make money. I wish... You know, obviously it's early access. I wish we had a, a few more options than that, but if I have to do a little bit of grinding, that's fine too. Go ahead and get that guy there. Let's put this guy up in here. Let's make sure our gun is all the way reloaded. Be an easy thing to forget. All of a sudden we've got a grizzly chasing us and we have only two bullets in it. Wouldn't be a good thing. But, um, yeah, so you, you kind of have to hunt and sell. Eventually, I mean, like, so the, the pigs... You buy a pig and you have to feed him a lot, you know, fatten him up, get him ready for market. And then you, when you take him down, they actually do. This guy is right next to the road. You're ballsy, son. Did I miss that one? Nope, we didn't. We're good to go. Nicely done, Trev. But um, the pigs, you pay 300 for them and then you fatten them up. And it obviously takes a lot of feed and stuff. But uh, you end up uh, like, you know harvesting them I don't, I don't know what the, the correct term is for it and they give you i think 36 meat so think about 36 meat bro that's a ton of meat we're getting four from each grizzly here you could get so much more with that but um we just don't have the money for it yet yes yeah, so we just we need to get enough money to, to be able to get in that position until then we just kind of gotta gotta take our time and do our thing here so we're gonna head back up towards the general store. We're gonna take a left at our next intersection, but we're gonna look for one more animal along the way. Looking for deer, looking for bear, looking for wolves. This is a little bit more deer country in here. Like we've seen tons of deer. If we don't see them, we could Maybe we're like, you know, over hunting right now or something like that. We could just go sell this and then go back out. Let's just, let's just do that. Eight pieces, 280 bucks. We'll take it. Looks good to me. And we're just going to go right back out and repeat the process. It's not too hard. Somebody tell me how those, those first ones weren't hitting. It's not that far away. We are going to have bullet drop to worry about at that point. Shoot. I don't know why I ran all the way over here. Bring the gator over, otherwise we just gotta keep running back and forth. So we've seen the, uh, I believe the, the, the doe get us three, the bucks get us three, the grizzlies get us four. I would assume the wolves probably get us two or one. So honestly, we don't even, don't even really want to find the wolves. Those aren't, those aren't going to be the most effective thing, I would assume. Got a nice little campground over here, see what we've got going on. Oh, this is nice. Right next to the lake. Got a little boat dock and stuff. Not a bad spot to, to set up. Do some canoeing or something like that. But um, that's interesting. So a, a big buck with a 10-point rack there gets us three pieces of meat. And a tiny little doe also gets us three pieces of meat. I don't know what that's about. Oh, got another one over here. Oh, we got two of them. Oh, no.
He's down. Oh! Three shots for the buck, one for the doe. Let's go, baby. Should have trusted our, our first shot there. So honestly, from a, a, a you know, investment return, you know, best ROI is going to be on the does because you can one shot them. It only takes one bullet. You get three pieces of meat versus three for a buck or four for a, uh, a grizzly in terms of shots it takes to, to take them down. So that's uh, that's actually pretty solid. Does are going to be our, our best best method of, of making money. We're about full here, so we're going to make our second stop. Let's see if we can uh, make this a thousand dollar day. Let's see if we can get one more before nighttime, although we are getting very, very close to that. And I don't I don't really want to want to mess with these guys at night. Really wish you could carry more than one at a time. Going back and forth here is just a little bit annoying, but we're good. All right, so that's going to be uh, nine pieces of meat, 315 bucks. Not bad. This is by far the best way to make money in this game. Like it's it's not even remotely close. So we're going to go back out. We've got a couple hours of daylight left. It's 4.13 p.m. Let's just see if we can get some... Get some hunting done quickly. Look through these trees. I feel like this area is the best. Because you have bear and stuff off to the right. And then you've got deer off to the left. Not seeing much. I think you can... It might just be random, just like a placebo thing, but it, it does feel like when we take down a bunch in a little area and then we don't leave it for long enough, they don't really tend to respawn here. It's a nice little house with a nice yard there, a little windmill. This is where we last saw that big grizzly. We're kind of getting out of our hunting territory here, though. Shoot, yeah, dude, this is... I'm gonna make one more pass by, but it's gonna start getting a little bit dark and I don't think we wanna be out here when that happens. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. We aren't gonna be able to get up to the gas station. Trev, 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 Trev. Do we try to get to the gas station or do we try to get home? I'm gonna try to coast as much as possible. Do you guys think? I'm gonna have to run home, pick up our gas canister, and run it all the way back. 